next on the battle against the coronavirus. Two more local counties have now crossed the CDC's COVID threshold of being areas where there is substantial risk that people could be exposed to COVID. Channel 2's Jeff Preval tells us what those counties are now doing. And the two local counties that have now been classified according to CDC standards as substantial risk of transmission of the virus, Chautauqua County and here in Orleans County. Both Erie and Niagara counties have already crossed that threshold of being areas where there is substantial risk for exposure of the virus. According to CDC standards, people in these areas are recommended to wear masks indoors in public spaces regardless of their vaccination status. Both Orleans and Chautauqua County health officials support that recommendation. In general, we are recommending that the public be diligent and have personal accountability and responsibility and uh, wear masking uh, as appropriate in indoor spaces and public spaces. Health officials we've heard from say that they are most concerned about people with underlying health issues and seniors, and they recommend people get vaccinated if they haven't already. Local health departments tell us that they're particularly focused on getting reopening guidance out to schools since the state health department has already said it is not issuing guidance. However, the state education department is working on issuing a path for schools to safely reopen just a few weeks from now. Now, of all the counties in western New York that have been classified substantial risk of the virus, there have been no talks of a mask mandate in those counties. In Medina, I'm Jeff Peral, Channel 2 News.